you can actually only feel the baby's head. So when you go in and check, you can really just feel the baby's head. Good morning. My name is Victoria and welcome to my channel. I'm a certified doula, childbirth educator, and a student midwife. I'm in my third year of, of midwifery. <laughs> We're starting a series called Simply Simple. And the purpose of this series, it is to make medical terms, to make especially midwifery related terms to be easy to understand and this for student midwives, for pregnant women, and for just people looking for resources. And today on this episode, I'll be sharing what is dilatation. <laughs> getting checked from 36 weeks up to when they go into labor and today I'm just gonna explain what all of that is about and um, I have some visuals with me so when you are pregnant your cervix is closed what's your, your cervix and I feel like I should just do another video about that so your baby lives in your womb we don't know that right but your womb is actually enclosed let's say this is your womb your baby lives inside of here and of course this grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and by the time so your baby is inside here and of course with the placenta and with the umbilical cord which is we wear clothes for hours which is attached to the baby the baby placenta everything in the uterus and so this is the uterus when you're being checked, what's going on? What are they checking? What is dilatation? So when you're pregnant, your cervix is closed and it keeps your baby, it keeps all of that in there. So your baby is inside your womb and um, in labor or from 36 weeks, your midwife or your doctor or your OBGYN will start to check you to just see where your cervix is and how you're just getting ready for labor. So I've explained what a cervix is. And of course your cervix is inside your pelvic bone. It's inside of you, right? And of course when we check, this is the perineum. So some people say, do you check the vagina? No, exactly. What we are really checking, what they are really checking is your cervix. And you see, they have to go in to check that and what they're checking is this and so dilatation so when they go in they're feeling for your they're feeling for your cervix and how do they know what your cervix feels like because you cannot see right so when they go in they feel this if they're able if they're able to go in and feel and pull one finger through then it's like one centimeter. If they're able to put two or one in space and some more space, it's two. Actually, it really depends on your finger. Some people's fingers are bigger and longer. I know mine is like one centimeter. So when I put one and some, then you know it's you know it's like two. And three, you can put two and there's still room. And there's four centimeters, there's more space, five centimeters six seven 
eight, nine, and 10. And really 10 centimeters is when you can't feel anything. When you go in, you can actually only feel the baby's head. So when you go in and check, you can really just feel the baby's Because there's really no, we all don't have the same head size. So there's no way we all can be 10 centimeters, right? A smaller baby could probably fit sooner than a bigger baby, right? Like a big, big, bigger baby with a bigger head. So I hope that this makes sense. I hope that you understand what dilatation is. To recap, dilatation is your cervix starting to open up. Open, 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 open. Until it's all the way open that your baby can, can start to calm, calm down, if I would say that. that your, when you're all the way open, then your baby can start to, you can start to push, push your baby out. Okay? So dilatation is just cervix opening up. And after it's all the way open, your baby can start to, you can start to feel pushed. That is it for today on dilation. Next time I'll talk about infacement and stages of labor and other things like that. And if you have any questions, if you have a video requirement that you would like me to do, um, make a suggestion in the comment section and let's interact. Don't forget to subscribe, give this a like button, share with your friends, um, those that you know this would bless and this would help. And I wish you the best on your journey. See you next time. God bless and bye-bye.